So I read Crisis of Character by Gary Byrne, and I originally wasn't going to review this book because, let's be honest, it was a book that came out before the 2016 election um, as a kind of like attack book on Hillary Clinton and meant to influence the election in a certain way. And those kind of books are basically completely worthless once the election happens. They're, they're time sensitive, and that's always that's gone by now. But I had the book, and I figured, hey, might as well read it now but rather than never. And I thought I'd read it and just not do a review on it, and that would be it. But actually, I am going to do a review because I thought it was rather decent. Now, granted, there are plenty of parts. It does feature um, Hillary quite a bit. It talks about um, this the Secret Service officer's life in the Clinton White House. And it is, in that sense, meant as an attack on Hillary Clinton. But that's not it. That's how the book is portrayed. Those sections of the book are really brought out and portrayed with the cover and, and marketed that way. But the book is about the life of this dude that was a Secret Service agent and did quite a bit of other things, too. It's about his life. It talks about his personal stories. It talks about the life of a Secret Service agent and his time in Cyprus. And it talks about like it just talks about other parts of his life besides his time in the White House. Now, granted, this is mostly the beginning and the end of the book, and you can kind of tell, I wonder if they just kind of tacked on just a final chapter as a, um, just to take a jab at Hillary and make it so they can market it that way. But if you ignore those parts, if you're not interested in those parts, which why would you be? The election has already happened. There's still good parts of this book worth reading that I found interesting. It's a nice biography of, or autobiography, of a Secret Service agent, and that's something that I will always find interesting. That's not necessarily time-sensitive. So, in that sense, I mean, if you pick it up for a dollar at a thrift shop, I would say that's a good investment. It's a good book. Not something I would exactly buy off of Amazon for full price, um, but it's still something, if you see it, it's not ex it, it might be worth buying if you can get it quite cheap, like I did for, I, pro I don't know where I got it, but I doubt I paid more than a dollar for it. But in that sense, yes, I do recommend it because there are still good parts of the book emphasis on parts again because it is still um they, they do hype up a lot of the hillary clinton stuff because of the time the book was published but overall i do i do think it was worth reading you just have to kind of i read it cover to cover but for most people i think um you might want to focus more on some parts than others and um focus a lot more on just the history or more of the, the experiences of him in, in ways that aren't specifically in the White House. But let me know what you think in the comments section if you have read the book. Let me know what you, if you think my analysis is, or my, my review is good or bad, or let me just let me know what you think. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.